Hey everybody, Ben here from Curious Addies, and it's time for a big day! It's launch day! And so, I want to make a quick video to just walk you all through how to actually mint. We've never been able to do this before, just because the site wasn't live, the contract wasn't live, but just for now, I've turned the site live for just a few minutes, so I can actually walk you through all the different steps you'll need to do in order to actually successfully mint. So, the first thing is, you'll need to actually buy some Ethereum and put it in your MetaMask wallet. So here on Coinbase, you know, this is what I use. This is Coinbase Pro. It's the same thing as Coinbase, but it has cheaper fees, which is fantastic. I'll go get some ETH. Um, actually, it looks like I don't have enough ETH. So, you know, you do the normal thing, right? You, you buy some ETH. So let's go through that process. Um, if you have a Coinbase account, by the way, you already have a uh, Coinbase Pro account as well. So we need how much ETH? Probably about 0.1 ETH is going to be good enough because um, our fees are insufficient funds. Right. I need to deposit some funds. Okay. Let's go to my USD wallet. Let's get some funds going in here. Thankfully, it's instant, actually, to deposit from a bank account. The only thing is you usually can't take it out unless you have the same amount of collateral that you can use. Anyway, not that important. Now we can place a buy order. Great, we got it. Okay, so I've got about 0.1 ETH. This should be enough for me to do this transaction because it's 0.08 ETH to actually mint. And, you know, add some buffer in there for gas and we're about at 0.1 ETH. So I'll transfer all that out. Okay, withdraw. And then that is my MetaMask wallet address, by the way. So how to get that is, you know, I can go to MetaMask, copy the clipboard, my address, and then just, you know, paste it in here, right? Um, yeah, I already had it saved, but again, go through that real quick. Copy a clipboard, paste ETH address in here, valid ETH address, we're good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna get my two factor code and get this rolling. And the good thing about Coinbase is they also send these transactions very, very quickly. I actually don't need to um, wait for this transaction to go through because I do have enough, but just in case I didn't. I would send that and you can see pretty quickly it's going to show up. So if I go to my activity, this is my last transaction, but I'll just go to the latest one. We'll see. Oh, there we go. We have a pending transaction from Coinbase already and it was already confirmed and it's for, yeah, just about the amount that I need. Perfect. Okay. So then I go to curiousaddies.com slash mint. Okay. This is the mint site. If you're not whitelisted, it's going to, well, no matter what, it's going to show you this page. But then if you're not whitelisted, it's going to say, sorry, you're not whitelisted. You know, you can mint in 24 hours once we open up uh, the more public kind of whitelist sale. But uh, right now, if you are whitelisted, you go here, you click that button, you connect your MetaMask, you connect that wallet that you uh, are whitelisted with, make sure it's the same one that you put in our thing. And then hopefully it'll show you, okay, your remaining mint count is two. And so perfect. I can mint one, I can mint two. I'll just go mint two. No, I'll mint one just to show you all the gas prices here. And so let's see. Right now, gas is about 132. That's not terrible. Um, it could be a little bit better, but you can see this comes out to about 0 0.025. That has, oh, it fell. That's nice. I think it did anyway. But um, that has some margin of error. And so we do about a 20% buffer. It's not actually going to be this much. It's going to be less. But let me just see if I can actually finagle that gas price a little lower. It looks like it's only 95 right now. So why don't I go ahead? I'm going to do that one again. Um, if I go here, I'm going to edit this to just 100. Now we can see um, our gas fee should be a little bit lower. Should be good. Let's go through. Let's send that. Let's see how it does. All right. Now you can go check out your transaction here. And, you know, this one is um, 95 is the fee right now, 93. We're doing pretty good. So hopefully as this goes through, it should just go through. So we'll see. But, um, yeah, that's that's basically all there is to it. You click the Mint Now button. You um, make sure you change the gas price to one that you're happy with. This is the max fee. So this is the maximum that it's going to um, possibly use. It can use less depending on just how congested the network is and what price of gas is determined by Ethereum at the time for a given block. But you can see, you know, we're sending 0 
and we are trying to get our one nice little curious Addy. Okay, this takes a while. The nodes are quite congested right now. In fact, you can see now the gas price has gone up, so this might take some time to go through. But again, we have this whitelist for 24 hours, so there's no rush, right? Like the whole goal of us whitelisting people and giving them 24 hours of mint is that you have time to wait for when gas might fall, right? Um, if you want to get a super early, you know, Curious Addy, that's cool. You can just mint immediately at whatever gas price you feel like, um, but you don't have to. Oh, amazing, it went through. And in fact, the gas price was only 96. And so you can see the maximum I said I would pay was 100, but 96 was fine. And so that only came out to 0 0.018 in gas fees, which is awesome, that's great. Not so bad at all. And then uh, the total with that was like, 0.098 or something like that, right? And so, uh, well under the 0.1 by a fraction. So, uh, if we did it this way so that, yeah, you didn't actually have to pay over 0.1, even including gas, to mint. And let's go take a look. Let's go look at our Curious Addy. So, if you want to go take a look, you can go to OpenSea. And click on your profile. If you've connected to OpenSea, you'll see maybe a curious Addy in here but keep in mind oh, it hasn't shown up yet but keep in mind that even if you do see a curious Addy in here that curious Addy is not going to be revealed yet and the reason is we're not revealing until the sale is over for everyone we've had feedback from people where they're like oh no if you like reveal them early like yeah people will refund the cheap ones that are not rare or whatever um we don't really believe that will happen but you know anyway there are benefits just keeping the whole thing revealed until after the mint is over but now you can see here um my remaining mint count is now one and i can only mint one more so no longer can i do two only one so sad but um yeah that's that's all there is to it and then we'll go here we'll wait for this thing to pop up let's see if it comes up okay it's still taking some time the other way you can do it is actually just go to and let's see. Where is it? Hmm. Yeah, OpenSea is so overloaded these days. Oh, there we go. There we go. So cute. That's our little Annie. Yeah, and so you'll see this little reveal image right here, but that's not going to be the real image. That's just a placeholder until everything is minted and then we will reveal all your addies and you can use them as pfps and so forth cool that's all there is to it um yeah nothing else if you have any questions ask away in our general chat in our discord we'll be there all day to help out anything you have you're not on the whitelist you can't figure out how to set your own gas price you can't mint can't connect whatever anything that comes up let us know we'll figure it out thank you so much for your support Super, super excited. Can't wait to see how things go. Can't wait to see what you get. Thanks so much.